Hey everyone, how's it going? As always, I hope this video finds you in good health and in good spirits. So, speaking of spirits, let's talk about banishing bad vibes. Let's talk about seven ways to clear negative energies from your home. Um, number one would be deep cleaning your space. Just as you would scrub away dirt and grease and grime, a deep energetic cleanse is essential. Things like um, burning sage can help clear negative energy as well as micro contaminants in the air. So it has a purifying effect. Um, now when you smudge, it is important that you open all your doors, all your windows, all your cabinets and so forth uh, so that the negative energy can escape. Uh, number two would be to absorb negative energy with salt. There are a lot of rituals that are done with salt, um, so it's used for a lot of different things. It's effective at repelling unwanted energies. You can do a few things. One would be mist salt water on your baseboards, on your carpet, or even place just regular salt, coarse salt, in central spaces to absorb bad juju. Uh, you could also put it around the perimeter of your home. It is a good idea to remember if you have it like in a container or somewhere inside your house that after about 24 hours or so to take it out, remove it, throw it away so that the negative energy that's been absorbed can be, uh, you know, thrown away. Another one would be number three, essential oils for positivity. Certain essential oils can aid in clearing old energy while also boosting your mood. There are different ones. For instance, there's lemon, which is energizing. Then you have uh, the most popular one I think that a lot of people use, which is lavender for relaxation. And also peppermint. Peppermint's known to purify and invigorate. So you can use these scents to create a positive atmosphere around your home. Another thing that you can do is visualize positive energy. Positive thinking can really significantly impact your living space as well as your mental space. So it's like um, a thing you can do would be stand in a central location in your home uh, somewhere in the middle of the house or in a room that you feel needs some extra attention and you can say a prayer you can visualize your home bathed in a golden white light. You can state positive intentions and goals or even affirmations that are positive and, you know, just be optimistic to improve and uplift your environment. Also, embracing meditation is a good one. Cultivating a spiritual or a meditative practice in your home can help you to maintain a positive energy. So it's, you know, you might want to consider starting a daily routine to bring inner peace and balance to your living space. Another thing you can do would be consult with a professional. Uh, for a more structured approach, you could consider consulting someone who does feng shui, for instance, or a practitioner or a spiritual advisor. They can help address energy imbalances and perform rituals such as incense or sage or, uh, you know, there are lots of rituals out there, but things that'll help uplift your home. Another thing, though, is considering alternative explanations for the bad juju in your home. So before attributing bad vibes solely to supernatural causes, consider alternative explanations. And to explanations, there are things like um, people who have a sensitivity to the electromagnetic fields or even infrasound can cause feelings of discomfort and unease. And sometimes just a thorough professional cleaning may be all it takes to transform your initial impression. Uh, so by implementing these strategies, you can create a positive and harmonious environment for your home and foster a sense of well-being and tranquility. Yeah, so there you have it. There are seven things anyways that could help clear negative energy from your home. I hope you found this video helpful, enlightening, or maybe just entertaining. All right, everyone. Take care. Peace.